Hi there, I have another puzzle brand here to review and it's from Masterpieces. So I bought this um, puzzle a week ago from uh, Michael's and um, I got a 30% discount coupon so I had to apply that so um, I paid $9 uh, for this puzzle and uh, I just completed this and I really, really like the picture. I like a puzzle that has like a theme or there's continuity and something that is more manageable. But uh, as I have mentioned before in my previous video, uh, it's very hard to judge by the picture alone <laughs> because sometimes you can see it right away from the illustration if it's going to be a challenging one or not and i've been wrong several times before i have assumed that a certain picture would be very easy but it turned out to be um very hard and challenging but i really really love this um it's i've i have um built several masterpieces before but i just didn't have the chance to um put it on video, um, my review, I mean, because I also have um, completed an easy grip from uh, Masterpieces. This is actually um, confusing me because they have easy grip, which is um, obviously more expensive than the regular uh, Masterpieces. And uh, I really, really enjoyed um, you know putting the masterpieces together whether the easy grip or not okay i i don't know why but it was just so um joy joyful to just it was fun for me it it, it wasn't very challenging i would say it was still challenging but it wasn't as uh, frustrating as um what the other puzzles have um given me <laughs> Sorry about that. My <laughs> my cooker just <laughs> okay. I, I I'm um, actually baking banana bread. So there. So I'm sorry for the interruption. Okay, let's look at the box. It's um, very thin. I would compare the boxes box to that of Seiko. It's um, not actually very very. Um, it's not very sturdy. I would say it's thin. So. Um, the quality of the box is not really uh, something that um, I, I, I like, I would like to be, <laughs> but um, but it, it's okay, you know, for the price that you're paying sometimes, of course, something has to, you know, you have to forego with uh, some things. But anyway, um, the picture is uh, lovely. And I just I just enjoyed putting this together guys it's like something that you look forward to it's not like a puzzle that you know you're really really trying to um, put it together so quickly so you can just you know get it done and over with or get it over and done with no this wasn't like like that this was like I had fun <laughs> I loved it okay and um, there have been a lot of puzzles that I have reviewed recently that just gave me um, grief and um, headache but this one was really really good so let's look at the picture it says playtime in the attic this is 1000 uh, pieces and uh, this one doesn't have any anything besides the poster okay the poster guys is there all right so um that's one good thing about this but i did not even have to resort to the poster guys i didn't even reach out for this this was just tucked in um somewhere i just used the front the box itself yeah so um my initial um it, it, when you look at the picture it's it looks like it has just been blown up or pixelated or something that sometimes it has a lot of grainy bits that's not really joyful to i to, to look at or it's not really something that i, I want to build um I, I will show you some of my masterpieces that are like just a blown up picture and there are just too many grains this one 
I thought it was it would be like that. But fortunately, there's nothing wrong with the picture. And the poster came in. It's really vibrant, guys. And uh, I was expecting it to be grainy, but it wasn't, guys. So the picture came out to be really, really perfect and very colorful. And I would compare the um, I would compare the quality of the picture. Um, to that of Kodak. I didn't have any problems with Kodak except that it won't interlock. This one, this one, the picture is really, really vibrant. I'm going to show you that later. Let me just um, compare the box to that of a Ravensburger square puzzle. So this one is, uh, this was only $9.99, guys, $10 for 500 pieces at Target. But of course, the box is quality. I've seen some Ravensburger puzzles that are square, that are really, really of inferior quality. So I don't know what's going on with that uh, because they have to reduce the, reduce the size of the, of the box. I think that's why it's uh, cheaper and besides it's only 500. But I've seen 1,000 pieces from Ravensburger that were priced at 9.99 only from Target, but um, the quality of the box is you know, it's not really that the typical Ravensburger puzzle box that you're expecting for 1000 But anyway, this one still has a very thick, thick, thick quality. This one is just like three-fourths of that. So this is really, really thin. So, you know, I can't even compare. And um, the masterpieces, guys, they have a standard cut. So um, let me just show you that. And I find that some of their pieces, they're really, really uh, tiny. Some of the pieces are super tiny that you can even, you know, grip. But, you know, I, I still enjoyed it. I didn't mind that, though. But I would have loved it if it was a bit, you know, bigger. So this is um, a Ravensburger. And this is... Um, the left is the Ravensburger because it has the cork, blue cork. This one is just regular brown. And regarding the thickness, this is thin. This is, um, I would say, if I stack them together, um, I don't know, it's thick in some parts, but um, the quality is not there. The quality is not um, there. Um, this one is a Ravensburger, but it seems to be just as thick as this one. I'm not sure, guys, because some of the Ravens burgers are really thick, and this one is not that thick. Look at that. This one is a masterpiece. But anyway, they only have standard cut, so, uh, so there were no crazy shapes, but it's just that some of them were a bit uh, tiny, tiny for my <laughs> uh, grip. or, <laughs> But uh, it, it was okay. It was really, really fun i enjoyed it guys now um let me show you the entire puzzle so price wise um uh i think when they have to price um puzzles uh something has to go like the quality of the boxes sometimes would have to like the ravensburger puzzles that are in square boxes that are 1000 pieces they're only 9.99 and i would say that the box quality is not good so i think it has something to do with the boxes too and uh this is a very vibrant thing uh the the interlocking um quality of this puzzle it's it's okay but it, uh, i find that some of the pieces also fit in some in some areas but you just have to uh, look it's it, it Believe it or not, it was here that I struggled because the, the, the chair, the stem of the chair, it was, they were, they, they all fit together. This is the only challenge because they're all in the same color. The others that, um, that you would think would fit there, they do fit perfectly, although they're not, you just have to see. Um, because some of these would fit in some of these. You just have to look at the picture. So that's not something very, very challenging. 
but here if it's one color and they all fit together then that's gonna drive you mad so this is the only bit that i had <laughs> that i had uh i had a problem with yeah other than that it's okay and i just love their um the theme guys and um yeah i'm looking forward to uh building um probably the next one would be easy grip guys uh it would be um the masterpieces easy grip now let me just um put this down for a bit because um i have this i have a lot of 1000 2000 pieces so look at the picture guys of this um, masterpieces this is what i'm talking about it's like an illustration or uh, it's like a painting that has been blown up so you know I expect this to be grainy but um, let me see once I build this maybe the quality would be the same as this one uh, I'm really impressed with the quality and it's shiny actually and very very smooth it doesn't have a um, the puzzle that I just built is smooth it doesn't have a matte effect but I did not have a problem with the glariness guys it didn't I don't know I didn't have a problem with the glariness uh, although it's super super smooth and shiny and this one doesn't look smooth and shiny either but I'm not sure I cannot compare the quality of this to that of the quality of the puzzle because I thought initially that this puzzle was going to be like this like grainy because it looks sort of grainy here but uh, turned out to be really really good so um i'm going to um review this next time the easy grip are more expensive they're very more expensive i think they are twice as expensive as the regular um uh piece these are large pieces guys so this 1000 piece would actually occupy a 2000 piece um puzzle because of the size so this is good for they said people with arthritis or people with vision problems or just i would say um, old people they say <laughs> i'm thinking of maybe donating um my use puzzles to a senior citizen um that's just close to us we'll see about that but i will uh, definitely keep my ravens burger and the expensive ones so there you go guys okay bye oh oh on my rating on the uh, masterpieces it's I would uh, I, I I would recommend it. It's um, out of ten, I would say five or six. Um, the price and everything, I didn't have problems. The only problem is that they're just too tiny. Some of them were just too tiny, and some of them just fit together in one space. And uh, that what is the price is okay. Price, although it's more expensive than the usual. You know, it would have been twelve dollars retail um but i only got it for nine so i would i would say uh the the quality for the price is uh, reasonable and um i really 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 enjoyed it putting together that's the most important thing is you did enjoy the um picture so there you go guys okay bye